Riley Fletcher took a one-way trip to the stars by Cal Ness. On paper, Riley Fletcher's disappearance wasn't that odd. The circumstances of a disappearance are usually pretty straightforward. Person is there, person isn't there. Some sicko, disturbed parent, or jealous lover nabbed them. The cop said Riley got nabbed by a sicko. A year later, she was declared dead. But Riley's disappearance was odd. I know, because I was there. Riley and I met in math class our junior year and quickly hit it off. Butterflies took flight from my stomach when Riley invited me to Sadie Hawkins. <laughs> In our rural town, it was sacrilege. Two girls going to a school dance together, especially when it's more than a friendship. <laughs> it's a tough steer for cowpokes to wrangle. I always wondered if we made enemies during Sadie Hawkins. Yeah. If somehow that explained Riley's disappearance. But eventually I, I let myself believe the truth. It was much more sinister than that. Throughout our junior year, Riley and I continued falling in love. Uh, we loved being outside together. We went hiking regularly. There was a reservoir on the outskirts of our town, uh, Brandon Lake. Trails led all around it. It was so wooded that getting lost was easy. Riley and I became hopelessly lost the night she disappeared darkness fell. The moon rose, but we were deep in the woods. It was impossible to see. We freaked out when we heard bushes rustle. Then, when we heard voices, the real terror started. Oh my God. We want to study you. We want to see what your insights look like. The forest flooded with blue light. Cyclonic winds began beating down. Riley and I hauled in the general direction of the parking lot. I was faster than Riley. She wasn't much of an athlete. She lagged behind, branching off into the woods to avoid being caught on the path. Seconds later, I heard a scream and saw a final flash of light. The swirling wind stopped. The silence of night descended just as suddenly. When I went back to look for Riley, I saw something strange. Uh, it was her footprints. One foot in front of the next, long running strides, then a, a final footprint before they disappeared. The last footprint was deeper than the others, as, as if she'd bounded once before floating away into space. The search went on for weeks. The cops grilled me. Could Riley have run away from home? Did she have any enemies because of her life choices? No one cared 
about the footprints or my theory that Riley had been taken by something inhuman? <sighs> Ten years have passed. In private moments, I remember Riley's disappearance. Her haunting scream. The lights and wind stopping suddenly. Her final footprint cast in mud. And on clear, quiet nights, when I look up at the stars, I hear voices. I truly loved Riley Fletcher. For her sake, I hope it ended quickly. <laughs> hey guys. Thanks for listening to my reading of the short story, Riley Fletcher Took a One-Way Trip to the Stars by Cal Ness. This story. I love this story. Great job, Cal Ness. I hope you like it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And please leave a like if you do. If you like the story, why not head over to Cal Ness's story page and leave an upvote while you can, before it gets archived. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Y'all have a great rest of your week. I don't know when this is going to get posted. It might be next month. It's going to take a lot of work, Cal. But hang in there. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>